What's going on, dudes? It is Kalos House here, back with another video. That was like some kind of dinosaur mating call or something. <laughs> anyway, today, welcome back to Heroes of the Storm. Today we'll be playing some support peoples. Some characters that heal stuff and do no damage, you know, that kind of shit. <laughs> So anyway, today we're playing Lily, one of my favorite supports in the entire game. I do I do own that fucking amazing skin for her. Look at it, that's so manly. Even though, but that looks fucking sick. I, I'm actually going for that one right now. Uh, probably like two or three games, maybe. Um, but um, yeah. And we are rocking this uh, amazing mount, the new mount, the new Malfeo for level 70 on in Diablo mount. And um, today I want to show you my standard healing build for Lily. Um, th this is the, the the build that I use for my competitive gaming and for just overall whenever I go for healing when I play Lily. Let's do this. I talk too much. Ready for adventure. Urgh. All right, boys and girls, let's say uh, to the friends. We find ourselves on the Cursed Hollow map. Not not my favorite, but not the worst as well. Uh, on the level one, we're going to be picking up Conjurer's Pursuit. This is going to uh, allow us to uh, regenerate a lot of mana in the late game. What's really what Lily is all about? Lily is all about healing, good healing, clean clean healing. You don't have to uh, focus anyone. You just kind of like spam this motherfucking key, <laughs> spam this, spam this M MF key, and uh, you will. Be fine. This is a, a potentially a very good team. We have Lily, Leoric, Butcher, Zagara, Murky versus Zeratul, Karazim, Zebrio, Butcher, and Sylvanas. Um, it should be a very interesting, uh, very interesting match. They do not have uh, a tank, which we do, but they do have Zebro, which uh, Zebro is always good. But we do have Zigzag, so this should be a very interesting match. Um, on our Q ability, we have uh, we have a healing. We, we basically throw out this brew to whoever needs it the most around us, around in this uh, in certain radius. Um, on our W ability, we uh, can grant the Serpent uh, Cloud Serpent, which de which de which deals a lot of damage. So I'll throw it out here. There's a Serpent right right next to my guy right right now. And do this. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm potentially very good against the enemy Karazim and enemy Butcher uh, because of my uh, because of my um, my my um, what's it called because of my blind uh, on which is on my E ability. I can come close to an enemy, press my E, and I blind both of them. Um, there we go. We can start with using that heal. I wasn't able to pick up. Uh, I wasn't able to pick up the. Um, so I can potentially basically uh, take out. Oh, that was a huge! Oh, okay, he actually actually cancelled it, which is good. Um, so I can potentially basically um, me and Butcher can actually take these guys on because I can uh, because I can basically. Uh... Why is he taking a sip of a sippy cup? Come back! I'm gonna play down the serpent. I'll try to get this healing globe as well. Gonna throw on the blind again, so the enemy Karazim cannot do much, can, cannot do too much healing. Uh, throw the serpent again, so he, he, it does a little bit of damage, but it doesn't do too much. You know what I mean? It's uh, it's not a huge deal. Um, so I will just keep healing our friendly uh, friendly butcher here. Uh, you can hear you can hear the sound when I when I press Q. I do throw out this brew, and uh, our friendly. Hopefully our friendly butcher is not going to get too drunk but from our brew. Um, and then blind him. Of course the enemy butcher does come back to uh, to haunt our dreams. Uh, that seems generous. Again, throw out the blind to, to, to take away the damage from both Karazim and butcher. Throw out the serpent. Blind is just uh, so so, uh, so good. Uh, we're gonna pick up a mass vortex. This is, this is gonna allow us to uh, to basically uh, make our um, our blind much better in the team fight scenario, where we'll be able to to basically to um, pick up the blinds on almost a whole of an enemy team. We're gonna ping for assistance here. Gonna 
pick this up, put the put the guy on myself, and just start gathering right now. So start gathering right now. Hopefully my team does does follow up. They do not, and this might be a kill on the enemy Karazim, and and, and then it is. I'm gonna throw the blind right now, so uh, so the enemy team cannot deal too much damage. The enemy Zerto is trying to get away from our friendly butcher, but I don't think he will be able to. Yes, we are able to pick up a kill on the on the enemy Zerto. It should be G. We should just be going for this. Go, fucking pick this bitch up right now. Uh, I'm picking it up. I w fuck you, fucking Sylvanas, bitch. <laughs> oh, way too much. Uh, no, 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 no. Got it. Easy, boys. Easy game, easy life. Easy game, easy life. <laughs> Don't know what that means, but. And go back to the sippy cup, and uh, we were able to just to get some more healing to our friendly zigzag. I'm sorry about my uh, my mood. I'm like I'm I'm in such a good mood, but it's a mood which um. I don't know, some people don't like about me. So if, if you guys do not, then fuck you. <laughs> no, if you guys don't, let me know, uh, then I'll try to make more uh, more serious videos, if you know what I mean. Okay, Murky should be fine by his own. Uh, and uh, we are, by the way, level up down here, so this might be an issue. Uh, for them, for the enemy team. I'm gonna grant the Serpent so we can deal some more damage. Gonna grab this uh, Conjurer's Pursuit stack and on level 7 we will be picking up healing brew also heals over time so this is instead of, instead of just healing a, st a straight up amount every uh, you know every time i hit somebody with the brew this is also also going to grant them a little bit of additional healing over how many seconds i don't know over 6 seconds so it is quite a significant brew, uh, of, uh, quite a significant heal later on we will we will be able to pick up uh, a talent which will be able to make us, uh, you know, brew two people at the same time. Uh, potentially, our friendly, um, friendly Leoric in a, a little bit of a bad spot right here. He'll be get a, he'll be able to get away though with the creepy walk. Um, I will try to just uh, where's the what, what? Where was the um? Where was that when? Okay, so the butcher wants to wants to. Uh, Potentially engage here. We we can. Uh, I will I will blind both of the enemies here, um, but we weren't able to pick up any kills, so that's not that good. Uh, we are able to pick up a conjurer's pursue stack though, so that was all worth it now. Um, I will get away and I will go down to the middle lane to help our Leoric push back Zebro. Hi Zebro, how are you doing, bro? How are you doing, bro? I will be getting in for that Conjurer's Pursuit stack. We, we're doing pretty good. We got eight stacks already, and we're gonna be healing our. Uh, I haven't been doing that that good of a job when he was healing this game, so I should probably just spam a, a lot more of my brew. Uh, why is nobody going bottom? Okay, so we should just set set up here, really. I will throw out the stun. Okay, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good, boys. This is not a good engagement, boys. Fuck the fuck this. We are split up, and this is not a good engagement. We can uh, potentially we can deal some damage to the uh, enemy Sylvanas who's down there. Our friendly Murky does go down, and I think we should just give them this. Where's our friendly Butcher? Where's he at? Essentially, the blind, the blind does save our Leoric from uh, from doing too much damage. Our, uh, uh, the enemy Karazin might be potentially out of position, but they do pick up this. Uh, um, they do pick up this uh, tribute, and they are up one on the tribute count. Might be an issue. Might not be an issue. We'll see in the future. Nobody in the top lane, so I will rotate up to the top lane. Looks like uh, the enemy butcher, uh, sorry, friendly butcher, does is making his way downtown though. So, should be fine. On level 10, we will picking up the jug of 1000 fuck yous, which is gonna grant some major healing to us. Uh, the enemy Zebra potentially in a very bad spot right here. Uh, he does catch us in a very significant wall, but. Again, shouldn't be that big of an issue. I'm gonna pop my ult here, just, uh, just grant a lot of healing to me and my allies. I'm basically gonna put my uh, put my butcher and put my Leoric uh, basically ready for the next uh, big fight that's gonna be going on, which is the one over the tribute. 
Um, I will blind everyone here so they cannot heal and they cannot deal too much damage. We do get silence, which might be potentially might be very huge here. I'm gonna just keep spamming my Q ability, and potentially this might be uh, this might be a lost fight because Butcher does go down. He overextended uh, a little bit too much, and he does go down in the process. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna blind our enemies. Um, and our team just, just just does go down and I did <laughs> did you see that lag? I lagged a little bit and I was taken out from the fight and our, our team potentially is is cursed so our, our team does, does get cursed right now so I will go middle to help our, our butcher because on the top we already have uh, Leoric and Zigzag Radio. Uh, I'm not sure what was the problem. Maybe maybe the VP was actually pretty huge uh, in that last uh, last fight. Uh, we're gonna throw this out to blind, and the blind. Oh, oh god! If that would have caught him, that would have been uh, kill secured. Shit! That was pretty. That was pretty. Uh, I was pretty lucky that he went off cooldown with that uh, with that blink right there. Anyway, we're just, we're just gonna keep hammering away at the enemy minions here to try to uh, you know try to basically nullify any damage that kind of is coming from this uh, from this curse. I'm gonna put myself in the vortex. You can see that this guy basically just does my my uh, half of my uh, my basic attack damage. Enough. I will go down to help our my friend Yorick, who kills the enemy Sylvanas. Wow, that was uh, that was eventful. Gonna heal him. Grab that stack as well. We're at twelve, and you, you can see that we um, we didn't have any any issues with mana so far. Only only in the very early game we had some issues. Look like at the enemy. A friendly zigzag does use this weird. Um... So I'm gonna I'm gonna blind right here. He's gonna stun our Leoric, but he will be. Oh my god! That potentially might be pretty huge, but no, he just gets bursted down right away. Uh, we should be doing our best to defend this fort up top against Zebro on level. 13, we're gonna pick up Shrink Ray, which uh, which is gonna just potentially do. He almost took it out. He almost took it out. Uh, I was uh, I was there just in time. Uh, he did rotate a little bit. But um, yeah, we did pick up Shrink Ray. Shrink Ray is gonna be really good against um, Butcher. We'll be able to basically take him out of the fight. Um, oh, that's, that was a horrible ball. Oh, a horrible, horrible ball. So we're just gonna go down to try. Who the fuck killed Butcher? Butcher, why? Butcher, why? Anyway, I, hopefully I will be able to showcase a little bit of the. Um... So there you go. There, there's, a, there's a shrink ray coming up, and she, but she will be able to just bounce you away um, from from danger right there. The Le looks like he wants to pursue this guild, but um, I'm gonna go down there and kill this. Potentially, potentially, just you know, just kind of like um, engage in this. Not really engage, but um, try to protect. Uh, that's, that's what I meant. I'm gonna grab myself the serpent, and uh, I will be able to pick up this uh, uh, this conjure pursuit stack. So again, Lily, you know, not not that not that bad, really. Um, not that difficult either. She's she's like one of the easiest supports to uh, supports to get into, uh, just because you just go and uh, you just spam your abilities. Um, you, you, you don't have to. Uh, you, you don't have to focus your stun anyway. It's like he will be engaging on me. I will be popping my ult right here though, uh, and he will just immediately get away from that. I will be trying to grind some healing over to my Leoric, who's soloing uh, the the enemy Zerato. Uh, Z the enemy team is potentially going to pick up this thing. He, they are able to pick pick it up, and um, we won't be able to do anything about it. Unfortunately, the, our friendly Zigzag Reno. Potentially in a little bit of trouble, but we no, don't kill him in that state. Come on, guys, this is horse shit. Why do you even do this shit, dog? I'm gonna shrink rate the enemy Zerato so he can't do too much damage to us. That decreases his damage by how many percent? I don't actually remember. By 50% movement speed and uh, and attack speed. 
Uh, sorry, it's his damage. Uh, so I will throw out the blind. You can see I just uh, throw out the blind. Oh, I will be engaged here by the enemy butcher and taken out by the rest of the enemy team. I was, uh, yeah, actually I should have just responded to that uh, to that retreat. Sorry, talking to myself. They're like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? What, is he talking to himself? Uh, so the enemy uh, enemy Sylvanas used her sc only escape to uh, try to engage, and she will be taken out on level 16. We will, we will be picking up two for one, which means we're gonna have a little bit of a longer cooldown, but we will be able to pick out two heal two friendlies at the same time. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on here. So there we go. I just I just healed um, the uh, the friendly butcher and the friendly. Uh, what's it, what the fuck is his name? Uh, Murky at the same time. Uh, potentially. Why did he stop at the end? Oh my god, the VP. The VP is fucking real. I hate. I hate Void Prison. Void Prison is so fucking OP. It's ridiculous. Um, so they did do a good job of splitting us up as a team. Um, get back here. I need to heal you. I need to heal you, front. Okay, yeah, we. We can't do that, we can't do that. That's, that's definitely a good, a good idea. I think so. Butcher should be coming here to try to deal some major some major damage to this guy. And uh, he, he looks like he will be able to do just that. If the enemy team engages here, I have both of my uh, Shrink Ray and my ult to, um, to, do, um, to, do all the, to do all the support that I can. Enemy Murky potentially going back, I'm not sure why, what is he doing, uh, the, the tribute looks like it's going to be going to them again and they, that will be able, so I'm not sure if that was a good trade, I'm not sure if, if the boss was a good trade for, for a curse, um, potentially we, we wouldn't be able to, um, there's too many potentially, but potentially we, we, we wouldn't be able to contest it because they're level up on us, even though it's not a, a talent up, but it's just a level up. So they do pick up a boss, so it wasn't a trade at all, it was uh, it was just our boss for their curse and their boss, so... Might be a issue to deal with that boss, looks like the, our friendly Butcher is coming here to try to prepare for that boss. I'm gonna try to clean up this, this mess right here. Before the boss arrives, looks like he is almost, almost here. I wasn't even you know, I wasn't even trying to get out of that route. I was just like, "Fuck it, I have, can't be bothered. I can heal myself up, and with uh, with the con conjurer's pursuit at level of what I have right now, it's just crazy." So um, yeah, a lot of people have been asking me uh, if I would consider anything else on level one than conjurer's pursuit. The answer is no. Um, Lily uses a lot of her mana in the late game, uh, early game, mid game, and late game on, on all these stages of the game. Um, so mana is a big issue for her, and Conjurer's Pursuit solves that issue. So I'm not, I'm not sure why people would go for anything else than solving the main, the main issue on Lily, which is which is her, uh, you know, which is her. I, I might be potentially out of position here. I might get bursted down. No, I, I, it looks like the enemy team did not uh, did not go for that. I do blind uh, the enemy team a little bit. Um, oh god, the, the VP is real, the VP is real. I was able to just keep our, some, of, some, of, some of my guys alive. And we should, should just push it behind them to push them away. Uh, we weren't able to pick up any kills on the enemy team, which is quite bad. Remember, just keep squ keep spamming Q and you'll be fine. You should be fine. I do get focused down and I will be taken out by... What the fuck? By Butcher with block? Who picked that block? Who picked that block? Murky picked that block. So what was that sign right there? What? Whatever. 
So my team is just uh, not doing a good job. Uh, looks like the, our friendly Reorg might get Butcher Branded. No, he's not gonna get Butcher Branded, but this might be GG because uh, I've got 30 seconds. Uh, but it's, a, it's potentially a 3v3 right now, so if if the enemy, if the friendly team does focus one one hero, which they do, they are able to pick up a kill, and they might be also uh, able to pick up a kill on the enemy Butcher as well, who doesn't realize that it's his end, and... Um, he doesn't turn around and just like kind of like finish his, uh, his, his life with dignity. Oh, level 20, we're picking up cooldown, recharge faster when damaged, so... Just amazing. Um, you want to be in the middle of the fight, you want to be in the, mid in the middle of every team fight, and you will be damaged almost all the time. Uh, you'll be using your... Uh, actually, I didn't, I didn't uh, explain the fast feed trait. Fast feed trait is, uh, upon taking damage, gain 10% movement speed for one second. And then again, I picked up. Uh, whenever I, I do get damaged, my, my cooldowns are much much faster. Uh, the, the cooldowns go by 150% faster. So a very very good overall late game talent. I am helping uh, helping my friendly Yorick here. Uh, you know, basically uh, healing him up from the damage he's taking from um, um, from those mercenaries. So one good, one bad thing about people who uh, people do not like about Lily is basically her uh, her her inability to choose whoever she wants to um, uh, whoever she wants to uh, heal. Basically, um, sometimes sometimes it's a big deal, but uh, most of the time you won't really be really noticing that. Um, I'm gonna be call calling for pinging for a retreat here, and uh, potentially I might. I will blind everybody here, and I will pop my ult right here. I do get silence, and I do get fucking VP'd, so this is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be, this is, this is probably gonna go secure my death. I'm gonna use this uh, shrink ray, I think. Am I gonna use my shrink ray? I don't think I will be using the shrink ray right here. I am gonna blind this guy. Where is it going? I don't know. Um. So they are able to pick up this uh, this one. Not sure why why they were able to do so. Not sure. Um, we definitely have a, have a. I think I think we have a stronger comp. I think we have a stronger comp. Uh, their zebra might be an, uh, might be the, the, the issue that's you know that's basically on my mind. That's that, that's basically that's basically making us lose right here. Um, they are doing the boss right now, so I am going to try to help out with it. I'm making my way. <laughs> Come on, kill me with this boss, you fucking nick nugs! I'm, go I'm gonna be ready. I'm gonna be taken out by the boss because my friendly team does not come to my aid when needed. And I'm gonna get salty right now. <laughs> I'm gonna get really salty. We do pick up that boss though, so might be might be a big issue for the enemy team. They might be able. They they have a choice right now. They either give us the curse and deal with the boss, or they um, they fight for the curse and th they let the boss do quite a lot of damage to their level two structures. Looks like they're gonna go for the second option. They're gonna contest. Not, they're not even going to contest that. Looks like VP is going to secure the escape from the enemies uh, for the enemies there too. And an enemy Zebro potentially in a very bad spot. Looks like he will be taken out by our friendly Butcher. And uh, now our Butcher does go down, right? Yeah, our Butcher goes down from the damage he he took from the enemy Butcher. Uh, our Leoric just spawned. And he's going to go down again. Potentially very very good. Uh, our Murky not picking up Octograb, which would have been very very huge right here. Uh, any, uh, yeah, they do pick up a kill, which is very good. Uh, we are potentially in a three v two position. So I am making my way to the tribute itself, trying to just pick it up. Looks like the enemy Karazim is trying to deal by himself with that um, with that boss right there. Keep destroyed. Keep. So I am picking up this uh, this tribute. Not sure why Zigzag is doing the same. Kind of weird for me. I'm gonna heal her, but anyway, because she's my teammate, I like her. Don't know why he's standing right next to it. 
Um, we should not be doing the bosses. This is, oh, this is my god, this is way too risky. But I guess if my team wants to do it, um, then I guess why the hell not? So, the enemy Sylvanas does, uh, does distract us a little bit, uh, our friendly uh, Leoric does miss, uh, the, um, does miss the wall though. We'll be able, able to pick this up and then, I don't, I, know what, I don't know where the enemy team is, holy shit, they let us take this for free basically. Um, hmm, very weird, very very weird. The shrink ray, the enemy butcher. I'm gonna start hammering away at the enemy structures. Gonna grind myself the serpent and just gonna ha keep hammering. You can see that I'm, have, I'm at 26 stacks and I don't see any um, of Country's Pursuit and I don't see any uh, mana issues. I can basically throw out, I can basically spam all my abilities all the time and my mana is gonna be f just fine. Main thing, again, main thing about Lily, just keep, uh, keep throwing out your Q. Uh, potentially, this might be a good game. VP does go down. Try to uh, try to uh, stop us a little bit. I'm gonna move into here and blind everyone that I can. Basically, um, I'm gonna throw my ult right here to keep everybody all in, my, in this radius alive. No, well, not really keep them alive, but really keep them healthy and keep them uh, keep them going. Basically, uh, again, I can I can heal two people at once, uh, so th that might be a huge issue. Uh, I do. I do, I am able to blind people around me and then um, shrink rate this, uh, that bitch. I'm gonna blind him so he can't deal too much damage to me, I'm gonna grant this serpent to myself. Uh, whoa, whoa. Okay, I am able to get away, I am able to get away. Uh, we are, we've, we've dealt some, uh, some crazy damage to their core. I am gonna help zigzag with that. So that was a, f a very good, a very huge team fight for us, which we did win. Which you know we did trade plus we traded a lot of. Um, um, they gave us a lot of um, their structure like defenses, you know, a lot of their shields. So we potentially do win that fight. I don't know why she's going back. Not that sure why, but okay, I guess. Uh, I am coming. F I am coming right there. I'm not sure why they're doing. Thirty seconds. We have thirty seconds up until that happens. So they um. So I'm gonna hide here. In the bushes a little bit. Um, this might be an issue if, if they do if they do pick this up. This might be an issue. I will shrink ray. Oh, the shrink ray does miss the um, the enemy. Um. The VP does stop me, but uh, but my uh, my ult was gonna continue after um, after I um, I'm, I'm I'm out of the VP. I'm gonna just keep spamming again. Keep spamming. Keep spamming. Keep spamming. Uh, keep throwing out the keep throwing out everything that I have, but our friendly heroes do uh, do get taken out, and we have to back the hell up to not lose the game straight away. Looks like I will be focused by the enemy um, Zeratil and Butcher, and that will be enough damage to take me out of the fight completely. And it's gonna be a good game. We have a minute up until I am spawned, and then they they will be able to pick up this tribute, which was gonna grant them the curse, and they're just gonna push for the win right now. I think. If they have any oil in their heads, uh, actually, maybe not. No, actually, it will. Yeah. Actually, potentially, our only um, potentially our only chance of winning this game would have been to push with the mercenary camps we did. Uh, so their core is at thirty-one percent. So if we can, actually no, our team is back, so this is not going to be a GG. It's just going to be a very close game, potentially. Uh, our Leoric does trade for no apparent reason. Um, sometimes, uh, sometimes I know, I know it's a it's a problem where you you don't even realize what, how uh, how low you are on the timer on the death timer and you just spawn in the middle of a, of, a, of of the enemy team. Uh, I am going to help my team with that.
So the enemy team is nowhere to be found. Looks like they, um, I don't, I don't, know, I don't know what they're doing. I, th I guess they're looking for us right now. We should be pushing with with the boss when it when it is done. I do let them know that we should be going down in the bottom with the boss, and I think this is going to be we should be this is, should be a good game, right? Should be a good game. I'm gonna clean up the, those waves so they do not deal too much damage to the and to the to, to us when the boss does come through. And it looks like the enemy team is just going to focus on uh, defending here, where uh, we just do all-out uh, assault here. And uh, they do try to take me out straight away. I mean, uh, looks like he's going to VP the boss to g to give them a little bit more time. Um, to... I'm going to shrink ray. I don't know who the fuck that was, but I shrink ray somebody. Um, and uh, we should be just po po pushing core, pushing core, just doing everything that we possibly can, uh, shrink ring everybody who we can, and we will win this game! We do pick up the win of the day. <laughs> oh, at the end, the, 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 the team went together, stayed together, and it felt really good at the end. So, um, we were in, in a bit of a, of a pickle at the beginning of the game, but at the end we did pull off a very, very nice win. See how much XP is that gonna give me? Yeah, I told you guys it's gonna be like two games up until I get that last um, six Sicarino skin. So I do p finish with the highest um, of my team. I was the only support in my team, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and I'm gonna go over the uh, the talents that I went for and, and the talents I always go for when I play Lily. On level one, I do always pick up Conjurer's Pursuit, even even um, when. Uh, even when going, going for something like a damage build, or even when on uh, Haunted Mines, even on, on Haunted Mines, I still pick up Conjurer's Pursuit, it's just uh, that good for Lily at the, in the late game, even if you don't pick up that, does most many stacks, but you should always focus on, on getting stacks. On level 4 I did pick up um, the Mass Vortex, Binding Wind hits more targets, it's very good, up to 4, so uh, this becomes a more of a team fight oriented uh, support than just, you know, just a single target. On level 7 I did pick up the good stuff, which heals, uh, healing brew also heals over time. On level 10, I pick up the jug of 1000 cup, fuck yous or cups, whatever you want to call it. Level 13, I did pick up shrink ray, which allows you to take out a, a potential burst uh, damage person out of the fight. Um, if there's no burst damage person on the fight, do not pick up shrink ray like, like a noob. Always go for hindering winds if there's, if, if there's no burst damage on the enemy team. On level 16, um, I did pick up two for one healing brew heals two allies, but at longer cooldown against this specifies you more of a um, not single not single a single single uh, target healer, but more of a team fight specified healer. And then level twenty, you pick up kung fu hustle, which uh, decreases your cooldowns um, according to how damaged you are. Like whenever you're damaged, you, you refresh your cooldowns hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred fifty percent faster. So this has been Lily, uh, one of the one of my favorite supports in the game. Uh, she's not the best support uh, because people again, again uh, like to uh, they like to target whoever they want to heal. But again, uh, she is she's like one of the best. Uh, she's been one of the best characters to get into a class of a support uh, because she's just so uh, so easy to play, uh, but hard to master. Hard to master. Uh, her positioning is very very important. Her timing is very very important. And so he, she's easy to get into, but really hard to master. And I hope you guys, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like rating. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel because there'll be much more Heroes of the Storm and other games coming. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace on the streets. Bye.